It's a simple question. It's a yes or no. Are you looking for profitable income stream, but you don't want to invest a ton of time or money? You have to pick one, right? A lot of us are wondering, what are things that I can do to have a side hustle in 2023? What are things that I can do now that have a really low risk? In this video, I'm sharing the four reasons why I don't think that you want to ignore low content, okay? There's so much potential. You'll hear a lot of people talk about how low content is dead. And I'm here to give you the four reasons and the most important reason at the end why it has worked for me and provided the majority of my KDP income royalties. Let's dive into this, right? This is why I can't ignore low content books for an income stream in addition to what I do in my business. I'm Jenny Henson Lane. I'm a course creator, a digital marketer, and I love finding really creative ways to make income online. And that's low content books, right? And for those of you that are new, low content books don't have a lot inside. They have repeated pages. So those can be journals, sketchbooks, some coloring books if the pages are repeated. But the really unique thing about these is that once you find a niche to publish in, it gets really fun because there is less time involved in this particular category. So here are some reasons why I don't want you to sleep on low content books. And the most important one is high demand. Like every year I have to go buy notebooks for every person in my family. If you get too late when school starts, like all the, there's no books that are out of stock that happens when you send your kids to kindergarten. There's just a demand. Like people are always going to be book lovers, tactile writers. Like I love writing in notebooks. Sometimes I'm like, I could just do KDP for myself. And that's what I really love about it is this is a great way to build an existing leg and appendage to your business. If you have a brand, like instead of telling all your students online, your online students to like get a notebook, like brand one and have people go buy your journal. There's so many good things about low content books. And I really think that if people are telling you that it's oversaturated, I think they're doing that just to remind you not to publish books that don't matter. Like make a nice cover, make a book with a customer in mind. The second thing is low overhead. This is what is so fun about it is that you can whip three or four up in an afternoon and you can be really excited about them, especially if you have software like BookBolt. You've seen me do videos about BookBolt. They have interiors. Also Canva. I have links. I have affiliate links for both of those. Makes it really fun. You don't have to spend all day writing a book. I'm working on my second book that I'm writing, high content. And the topic is about rejection. So you know I have a lot of stories. <laughs> but it's taking me much longer than low content. Okay. So I want you just to keep that in mind, the, the, how cool that is to have something that is so affordable to start. Number three, as I just touched on is it's easy to create. There's a lot of softwares out there. There's interiors you can get. You can hire someone on Fiverr to do it. Like it makes it really fun. Even if like you start out only selling to your family and friends, my in-laws and my parents loved buying my kids artwork in notebook for it was really fun for them. My kids liked it too. So like the barrier to entry is so low that it's just a fun opportunity. If you're like, you're boring, Jenny, this is boring. Like then yeah, this is definitely not for you. Right? So it's not real complex. Then that's a real blessing. Number four is diversifying your income. It's been really fun for me to build something more passive. You guys know I love teaching and I love coaching, but I also like creating things too and not being on calls all the time. So this totally filled my bucket up and that's something that I cannot look away from. When you guys heard that I was suspended and reinstated, my husband was like, why don't you just sell courses the whole like you're good at that. That works for you. 
But there was something else. There was something else that, like, the creativity aspect and, like, set it and go. It's just too fun. And you guys know I love ads. So that's been so fun. So fun. So the most important thing that I just want you to remember is that people will tell you that low content is dead. Low content books are not the way to go if you're not niched down. Like niching down is the best way to sell notebooks and repeated pages, journals, diaries. Like there are subsets of people, even if you went by age and you niche down by age or interest, you would find little sub markets where people are totally wanting something different. I love seeing all the different composition notebooks on KDP and I'm so glad there's such an easy way to publish now. So those are my four reasons of niching down. Um, sorry, those are my four reasons of why I will not ignore low content books. If you're interested in publishing, I have a playlist with tons of videos similar to this. I had someone recently tell me like, I don't know what KDP is. You lost me. And I thought, oh, they are new to the channel. So check out the other videos, binge watch all of the playlists because they will help you so much just to gain clarity and even get you excited about the possibility to turn on and create an additional passive income stream with low content or medium content books. Love you guys. Peace out.